as a business leader, you choose to go into many communities. At the same time, where is your trusted global community? Have you started building it to make it available for the world for your business? Yeah, I think a lot of times we join a lot of networks, we join a lot of communities, but to actually make that community your own, that's a huge challenge. And, and I've been stuck with many, many chat groups and many, many different communities. And you know, even as I start to uh, share about ideas and things, I realize that it's, it's, it just doesn't feel right. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to have met you and that's, that's the first step that I'm taking to building my own trusted network. Yes, and you know what is the challenge most of the time? What is the missing link? Is the clarity that we have when it comes to you know, wanting to connect with people. And definitely mm -hmm. one of the, um, the, why you want to collaborate, how you're going to collaborate, all these question marks will always show up. So when you don't have a clear direction, you don't have a clear offer, yeah. that's where the community kind of like just hang out with you. You know, yeah. um, when I have this experience for the longest time, because I was a regional director with BNI in 2002 mm. and three, I mean, three and four. And it was always like, what is my offer has always been the question. And until mm. I got clear of my offer, mm. then the community just grew. And, and when I say the community grew, how committed can we get to grow the community is the next question. And mm. there's a six degree separation we talk about. I think that was something oh, that you yes. You also talked about. <laughs> yeah, I think that, uh, you know, when we, when in, actually there's another uh, movie which is called The Seven Degrees of Separation, but it's basically okay. the same thing. Uh, I've always seen myself as a different basket from people out there who's doing all this work where they're helping people, they're doing training, coaching, etc. And it's so far away, I can never imagine myself in even in the same room, except that when I paid thousands of dollars with somebody like Kiyosaki or, or Tony Robbins. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm amazed at how quickly the degrees of separation has happened for me from say three layers, uh, six layers, seven layers, down to three layers or two layers. And I'm just connecting with amazing coaches and speakers and trainers. And just because I know you, now I know them. And it's just two layers of, of separation. So that's the true value of what a, number one, a trusted network. And number two, it becomes your own network. And it's amazing. Right. You know, so this is not an overnight thing, something that has grown no. over the years. And because we commit to show the conviction <laughs> in the work that we do, it is mm. like people seeing you doing the same thing. That's where the conviction comes in. People trust your work. And collaboration and cooperation becomes much more easier because you have consistency in your communication. That's yes. where the whole progress is. I, it's now almost every day that I'm using this analogy, which which I, I first saw you showing me, which is which is this thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the whole thing. And it's not just about business, you know, in, in all life, in, in everything we do. We're just so happy that we've just connected and we've met someone and we're talking, you know, that's that's it. But that's a, a connection, great. But there's no collaboration. There's no 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 real commitment to it. It only happens when you start to bind and you you get to know each other. And that's when yeah. collaboration happens. That's investment. It's not just about my time. It's also my energy, my emotions, uh, who I am, uh, and and opening up myself to be vulnerable with the people that I that I'm calling my friends, my network. Yes, and that's the, the trust and the network that we belong to, if you notice, they are very non-judgmental. We come mm. into a space of knowing the future. We say, focus on the brightness of the future, on how we can take forth, learning from our past experiences, whatever that mm. has showed up, and putting into a perspective that it is focused on not just brightness of the future, which is very exciting for many people. It is also taking it to the next level of mm. clarity of what we can achieve together in an aligned mission, right? So it is a betterment for humanity. And that's the kind of community that is growing sprouts here and there. And we are yes. very blessed to be blending all <laughs> these communities together. And that's why when we put up the seven days challenge, it's very exciting how many people are showing up right now for this. We were just talking about how uh, we seem to complement each other. Where, you know, if you use the DISC profile, 
she's more D and I, and I'm more S and C. So she's she's ready to fly, but I'm ready to ground. And it's amazing that you know on our own we can be doing a lot of things, but yes. now speaking from my from my perspective, I am now discovering that there's somebody who's actually helping to pull and lift me up to look at possibilities, creativity, and all. And then that lifts me out of that need to be just grounded, just stay solid, just stay uh, like, a, like a foundation. Now the mm. foundation is ready to build the, the skyscraper that it's been preparing for. So it's like, it's amazing once you bring the collaboration in and you can connect with your, your own network, we really help each other grow. You know, it's not about me and my network, it's we and our network. Okay. So that I'm so excited to share this with everyone in the next seven days. This uh, seven days challenge we are putting together is starting tomorrow. And mm. whatever that everybody's hearing right now is part of the three elements, the three focus points that we are having for the challenge. One is for everybody to create a powerful blueprint, a two years blueprint for yourself that will create your own conviction, your own yeah. clarity in reaching out to people, creating a powerful two-year plan, number one. Yes. We're going to be definitely looking at online presence as something that we're going to create everybody to do, mm -hmm. technology focus for your business to create your roadmap. And number mm -hmm. three, and the most important, that's what we're talking about, creating your trusted network. Yeah. We already have a Facebook group, people from across the world already on board in the mm -hmm. group and that will be the, our closed group that we will be interacting creating a lot of value i mm -hmm. i don't want to put a price tag to it right now we will hear from everybody at the end of seven days what is the value of the seven days we're going to yes. offer it's really ex uh, going back and looking at the belief systems that we have yeah a lot of the times that is just it's a very small thing it's actually within our capability to just switch so easily but it's it's that one little thing that is so scary to us because we just don't want to look at who we are, what we are, why we are the person we are. And that's yes. that's really a big challenge for us. And we are comfortable. We are also comfortable who and what, you know, I'm, I'm 52 this year. I've spent 52 years creating who I think I am. It's, it's about changing that 52 years of effort put in. So one of the things that uh, I keep reminding myself in the seven days, if I'm spending my seven days with you and you don't feel uncomfortable, I haven't done my job. It's my okay. job to actually push you to get out of that comfort zone. It's coming to everybody free of cost, a community that will be working with you in the seven days to create great value for yourself and your business. Yeah. So this is called, the seven days is for business acceleration. We trust your value. We want to accelerate your business with you.